Heidi ho there friends and neighbors Bobby here today friends it's been quite some time since I've made a video I think it's going on about four months now but guys we're back better than ever and today I want to show you the garden all right so stay tuned and we'll give you a walk around all right folks before we get started with this video I just want to let you know I'm wearing my farming outfit today okay and that includes a pair of bib overalls and a straw hat okay so if you're gonna be a farmer you got to go get you some of these articles of clothing okay so let's get started let's talk about the garden bring the camera on out here and just kind of pan around for so the good folks can see what we got we actually plowed up about a 50 by 45 foot garden this year about twice the square footage as last year and uh, let's see where you're on the camera actually right here we have a row of okra okay right across here it's uh, just now starting to take off and grow a little bit. We should have some okra sometime in July. Uh, right here we have a row of crookneck squash. Right over here we have a row of straightneck squash. We got a little tomato plant mixed up right there in the middle because it just happened to come up there. We, le we left him living there. Then we have two rows here. This is one row of zucchini and another row of zucchini. And friends, put the camera on me right quick. <laughs> we have been getting a ton of squash okay i have already picked more squash and zucchini this year than i picked all of last year and none of it's went to waste we've been giving mom and dad some and we have been um uh blanching cutting it up and blanching it and freezing all this squash okay and we're going to show you some of our pickings from this morning here in a little bit so come over here we got a new item for, that I am trying to grow this year for the first time. As you see this row right through here, this is butternut squash. And I'm gonna bring you down here and show you what they look like. As you can see, there's one growing right there. There's a little one growing right there. Now there, one well, looks like he's gonna die. It looks like something got wrong with him there. But each one of these plants has four or five of these things on it. Now bring the camera right over here. Here's a couple of good ones. Now friends, I have eaten some butternut squash before that I got from the grocery store, and I kind of like it all right. So we are going to see the big one right over there. So they're growing, and we are going to see how they do this year. This is the first time I've tried to grow this crop. They say that it's a pretty disease-resistant plant and pretty productive for the square footage that it takes up. So we're going to see, how, see if that works out this year. As you bring the camera right over here, you see we have about seven cucumber plants. I'll wait for you to get over here. Have about seven cucumber plants growing along here, and they've been producing pretty good. Uh, these, this is the variety uh, that we have here is a pickling cucumber, okay? I did have some straight eights that I purchased from the, um, oh, actually the straight eights I actually had, um, I started myself and they ended up dying on me, okay? But uh, anyway, we still got these pickling cucumbers and they sure are tasty. Uh, over here we have about 20 something plus tomato plants, okay? They're everywhere. Down here on the end we got Rutgers. I think the first six of them here are Rutgers and then there's some better boys on down that way. And then uh, down there at the very end we have the variety of cherry tomatoes that we started from seed. Uh, like we did last year and they just made an enormous amount of cherry tomatoes and then we have some cherries here that we bought at a local nursery some of the plants uh, don't know exactly what variety or what they're going to taste like but they uh, should be pretty good all these tomato plants are putting on some tomatoes now we should get uh they should start ripening up here in probably about a week and a half hopefully we can get i can make me a good old mater sandwich you folks know what I'm talking about, right? A good old mater sandwich, ain't nothing like that. Okay, let's go, let's walk on back toward the back here. Okay, come on through here. I wanna show the people the green beans. All right, folks, right here, we got one, two, three, four, five rows of green beans here. Now the first two rows here is a variety called the Big Kahuna, okay? First time I grew those was this year, and uh, they actually done real well. 
they actually start making beans quicker than the blue lakes. The other rows here are blue lake bush beans. And these uh, big kahunas actually started making beans a lot quicker, okay? And we did a big, hold on, put the camera on me. <laughs> oh, we done a big bean picking today. And actually, I'm sitting out here looking. Here's two more I got to pick. I see them right here. I missed them. Pick these two beans here. Check them out. Here we go, guys. These ain't very big, but you know what? I'm going to pick them anyway. Because we picked earlier today two five-gallon buckets of green beans, okay? And we're going to take you inside here in a minute and show them to you. So we've had a really good production in the garden so far this year. It's been awesome. Uh, the Lord has blessed us. You know, he's kept the rain, kept it raining when it needed to be raining, kept the sun shining on it when it needed to have the sun shine. And we're just tickled to death. And uh, we're looking forward to, um, as soon as the squash is through here, and probably a couple more weeks, it's probably gonna start getting wormy. And we're gonna have to pull these plants up. And I have decided that I'm gonna try my hand at planting sweet potatoes this year, okay? My son has discovered that he loves sweet potatoes. So guess what? I'm gonna grow him a bunch of sweet potatoes. And uh, uh, supposedly you can start that about mid-July, and or the first of July to the mid of July. And so we're gonna give that a try and see if we can get us some sweet potatoes by fall. Okay, friends, just as I promised, we're back inside now. Take a look at these pickings from today. We got 10 gallons of green beans that we picked today. And here's just today's um, pickings off of the uh, zucchini and squash and cucumber plants. And we, we get about that many just about every day. We'll show you some of the stuff we've already froze and got packed in the freezer. Okay, folks, here in our little deep freezer here, we have several bags of uh, zucchini, squash, and green beans already uh, blanched and frozen, okay? That's one good way to um, preserve these vegetables for a later date. And it's pretty easy to do, and I might actually make a couple videos on uh, blanching some fresh vegetables from your garden. So guys, that's just about it today uh, when it comes to the garden. I know it's been a while since I've made any videos, and uh, we're going to try to... Uh, we got a lot of projects going on around here right now, and we're going to try to put together some videos and, and show them to you, okay? We got a little concrete pad over here that we're going to uh, pour today. We're going to try to make a video of that. We have done a lot of grading around my garage because we had a water problem where it's coming in around the foundation. So we're going to make a video. I've actually done most of the work on that already. and But I'm going to kind of give you a tutorial of what I had to do to correct that problem. And so if there's anybody out there that's having problems with their foundation around their garage or even around their house, you know, I can kind of this might be helpful to kind of show you what you can do to fix it. Um, we got a video where we're gonna install a uh, 36 inch pre-hung door. We're gonna do that here. I've got that video coming up. And we've always got stuff here to do, guys. So we're gonna try to start putting some more videos up here. We've been a little slack here lately. But we do want to thank all the new subscribers and all the subscribers. I mean, although we haven't been putting up videos, we have still gaining like 800 to 900 subscribers by a month, I do believe. And I just want to thank each and every one of you. I think we're over 26,000 subscribers-now. That's awesome. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, I know I have a, uh, a library here of videos of over 600 and something videos. so dig in there and I'm sure you can find something uh, in there that can help you help you uh, maybe with a little project around your house so thank you for stopping by today and uh, get out there and grow you a garden guys you know they uh, the food seems to be a little slack on the shelves in the grocery store these days but you can get out there and grow you a garden and grow your own food okay make it happen guys we'll see you next time bye bye